Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This video is for hospitals to explain the right way to fill the hand hygiene form. First of all, go, go to www.gdibc-forms.com, then enter your username and password. Once you're logged in, you can change the language from here, and you can change the password from going to profile. Then enter the programs. The two programs that you can enter are hand hygiene self-assessment, which you have to fill it every year in January, and then the hand hygiene form uh, and that you have to fill it every month for your hospital. So once you enter it, it will take you by default to your hospital. Even you're going to see the name of your hospital on the top of the page here. Then press create. This will uh, works as a tracker. It will tell you when you start to fill the form and how many opportunities have you covered. So I press continue. And then this is the form. This form uh, in this area you can write whatever you want us to know. For example, if you didn't cover one of the units and you want to inform us the reason for that. This one is a tracker. It will tell you how many opportunity have you filled till this day. So and it will tell you that you have to fill to reach that uh, number. This is 150 because it's a medium hospital. As we all know, we categorize the hospital into large, medium and small. Like here for the medium hospital, they have to cover monthly 100 opportunity, 150 opportunity, 50 from the ICU, 50 from the ER and 50 from the hemodialysis and so on. So here they have to cover 150, 50 from ER, 50 from hemodialysis, and 50 from the ICU. That's why we put this one, uh, this tracker, to help you. This one, the facility information, it will tell you, uh, if when you open it, you will see the name of your hospital, and this is a fixed one, we cannot change it. The only thing that you can change is the bed capacity, the name of the CEO, uh, the email of the hospital, uh, the phone number, and all this information, you can contact your hand hygiene coordinator of the region, and tell it to him so that they can change it uh, so uh, here uh, uh, the way to fill your form just uh, press the unit you have ER hemodialysis and ICU and then you have we added NICU, PICU, CCU, SCU all of them they are part from the ICU so once you choose one of them uh, it will add will be added to the ICU here choose one of the shift time uh, we encourage you, of course, to cover different shift times and different uh, professional category. For the indication, you can choose one, two, or three, depend on your scenario. Putting in mind that you cannot choose four and five together. So when you choose four, five will be locked and vice versa. Here the action. Uh, if you choose the no hand hygiene action, uh, you have to um, answer for the gloves. Did they uh, were they wearing gloves or not? Uh, this is the uh, depend on the WHO uh, instructions. So then press send. So uh, once you do it, you are gonna see here the time and the date. Uh, of course, as you all know, we encourage you to fill it daily. If you cannot fill it daily, at least once per week. Uh, so uh, uh, once per week every month so you will have four different dates uh, putting in mind that you have here the number of opportunity try to divide it as equally as you can between these four dates here if one of the opportunities you didn't like it and you want to delete it just press delete if there were anything wrong with it uh, this form is uh, friendly enough that you can use it uh, through your mobile so you can fill it with your mobile then uh, at the end of the month this submit uh, submit button will be active uh, so that you can uh, send uh, this form to be audited uh, the reason why uh, we close it till the, uh, the end of the month that we didn't want anyone to press it by mistake uh, but uh, at the end of the month the last day of the month the last uh, it will be submitted automatically so if you entered the first day of the next month you will find a new form uh, once you submit it uh, you uh, can find uh, your result in the dashboard so you just enter it and then go to your hospital it will take you by, def by default to your hospital and then press search uh, here it will give you the compliance rate for the last month uh, if you want to um, check it with uh, check uh, other months together with it you can add them you can add two or three or even for the whole year then press view it will give you your compliance rate for example this is one of the hospitals their compliance rate is 88 so uh, you will see a message if your compliance rate is 80 and above is it reliable and valid hand hygiene compliance rate i mean do you have improvement project 
that uh, are you applying WHO multimodal? Um, do you have any justification for this high uh, compliance rate? Also, it will tell how many uh, opportunities you have deleted. Here, it will give you the compliance rate for uh, the units, for the shift time, different shift time, and uh, different professional category. If you didn't cover uh, like uh, one of the uh, professional category, it will tell you that you didn't cover it. And we encourage you, of course, as we said, to cover them all. Once you finish, you can uh, extract uh, uh, your report uh, as an Excel by going uh, here to the uh, archive and then press your programmed hand hygiene and then you can download your uh, form as uh, Excel as, uh, as I said. Uh, for any question, don't hesitate to contact your hand hygiene coordinator of the region and uh, thank you very much.